Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Today we'll speak about the parking brake. This is an extract from the flight crew operating manual, standard operating procedure for the Airbus A320 family aircraft. We hear always after landing and when the aircraft reaches the gate, the pilot speak with the mechanic who receives the aircraft at the gate and when the mechanic say chocks on, the pilot say brake release, brake release. It's always do happen like that. And it's recommended to release parking brake after shocks on. Here, as we can see, parking brake, Airbus tell us, tell the pilots, parking brake as required. So let's see the explanation here. Airbus said that the parking brake should be released after shocks are in place. This is if one brake temperature is above 300 or any brake is above 150 degrees centigrade with brake fans on. So Airbus recommend to release the parking brake after shocks are in place. Okay, let's continue. Releasing the parking brake, this will prevent the critical structure from being exposed to high temperature levels for an extended time. However, if operational condition dictate like slippery run, uh, run, runway or tarmac, slippery tarmac, the parking brake for sure may remain applied because it is like a slippery tarmac due to weather condition, due to heavy weather condition. Or when parking with a flat tire on the nose gear, keep the parking brake on to avoid aircraft yawing at the parking brake release. Okay, so mainly, mainly the first part is you need to release the parking brake after shocks are in place. Why? Let's go to know why. This is the uh, safety first article produced by Airbus. Safety first article produced by Airbus, uh, January 2020. Safety first article. This, it is a very important article that Airbus speak about proper or safe aircraft parking. Safe aircraft parking. This is for pilots and the maintenance. In this article, we can find a very good clarification about why you need to release the brake after shocks on. Here is the question, why is it not recommended to leave the parking brake on with hot brakes? Airbus tells us that the standard operating procedure recommends to set the parking brake back to off once the shocks are in place, when the brakes are hot. And the pilot need to refer to FACOM for the temperature values. As we can see here, for the A320, it's like 300 or any brake above 150 with brakes fans on. on. So, this is why. This is to prevent the transmitting heat to the brake pistons, potentially causing seal degradation. Okay, if we go to a general schematic for the carbon multi-disc brakes for the A320, for example, this is a general layout, any carbon multi-disc brakes for most of the modern jetliners, we have rotors and stators, rotors and stators, okay, the rotor is the rotor segment here okay and this is called heat back heat back this rotor have carbon material to absorb the heat released uh, from converting the kinetic energy into heat energy this is called heat back heat back so how the uh, uh, brake is applied is applied by pistons we have many pistons or bads pistons powered by hydraulic system, some pistons powered by the green or the normal hydraulic system and other by the alternate hydraulic system, which in, in the case of the A320 is the yellow hydraulic system. So, 
after shocks on you need to release the piston from the backs from the heat back from the rotors and stators okay this to prevent heat transfer for sure after landing and to increase uh, the possibility of aircraft to take off again you, we need to cool down the brakes so we need to cool down the brakes if we need to cool down the brakes we need to release the distance between the rotors and stators okay and we don't need the heat this very high temperature to be transferred to the pistons as Airbus tell us here this is to prevent the transmitting heat to the brake piston potentially causing seal degradation and also this is to prevent hydraulic fluid overheating we said that and we agree that the hydraulic fluid the green system and the yellow system supply the piston or supply the brakes so we don't want the heat to go to the hydraulic fluid and it will it, it will be a problem for the hydraulic fluid and also if the brake is very hot and still in contact with the pistons the carbon material may be transferred into a black aggregate okay it will generate a black aggregate this black aggregate can reduce the piston running clearance and then lead to a brake dragging brake dragging is a very uh, uh, a big problem to the brakes that it is a case that the pistons we can go to the brake what is meant by brake dragging it is a phenomena when the piston still in contact with the back with the disc with the discs we can see here a clear explanation for brake dragging here should the brake disc and the pads the pads here is the pistons again should the brake disc and the pads fail to separate after the brakes are released the brake is set to be dragging or bending okay so after landing after barking if you forget to release the barking brake the piston may still in contact with the disc and it may be a problem and it, it may be uh, a hard problem to release the piston from the disc and it will do a, a, a dragging dragging also will increase brake temperature if the piston will still in contact with the uh, the uh, carbon multi-disc brakes or the brakes or the disc the brake uh, will not cool down fast it will take time to cool down because the temperature the brake temperature will still hot and you know the efficiency of the carbon multi-disc brakes is good when the brake is cold so as you can see here unless you are using carbon fiber disc braking action is most effective when the brakes are cold okay when the brakes are cold so for the carbon multi-disc brakes we need it to cool down very fast so again we can summarize and we can see the answer here again why is it not recommended to leave the barking brake on with hot brakes again number one is to prevent the transmitting heat to the brake piston potentially causing seal degradation number two hydraulic fluid overheating and number three generation of a black aggregate that can reduce the piston running clearance and then lead to brake dragging thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely and uh, please don't forget to read this article produced by airbus in the safety first magazine by airbus is safety airbus.com an important article regarding safe aircraft parking Thank you for your good listening 
and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.